Robert, how's the, how's the tour been going? No, it's gone really well, I think. Um, we've done the warm-up games and we got what we wanted out of those. Um, everybody got away, really. Um, Vinci didn't quite and unfortunately picked up a side injury. That would have been the downside. Um, but no, we've, we've come through those games and we've been itching to, to get into the big game here, the Test match. And we've, we've started this one OK. We've probably lost a wicket every now and again. We didn't want to lose, but 153 is a good platform, hopefully, to go on. Have you found that the group has gelled together? No, yeah, they've been really good. It's obviously a goal right from the beginning to try and bring the, um, a group of players from different counties, um, different experiences together for a five-week tour and make them a team. But they've, done, they've been brilliant. They've, they've gelled, they've worked really hard and they've responded just as how you want them to do. And what about you, coming from, from Sussex? What's your, uh, your sense of it all being? Yeah, look, it's, it's, been, it's been strange initially because you, you're a little bit out of your comfort zone, aren't you? It's, um, it's a new experience for me. It's suddenly you've got a lot of support staff and um, different remit. As I say, you've, you, you're starting afresh with a brand new group of players. So it's a bit strange, but I've really enjoyed it. It's been a great learning, learning curve. Got a fantastic support team, which I can learn off myself and obviously learn off the players as well. But no, it's been a, so far, touch wood, really rewarding. And is there any particular merit, any advantage in coming to a country like South, Af South Africa, <laughs> like Sri Lanka? Like the obvious, isn't it, really? It's different, completely different conditions and different heat. So I think you've got different goals, haven't you, for the players? Obviously, you want to win. That's the number one goal. But for the players, you want to find out who are the next in line, uh, who's our next number three, who's our, ne who's our spinner if we need one. And then you've got some longer term goals, you know, you've got people who you're trying to get some experience. If they ever come back to this beautiful country and experience these type of wickets, they will be better prepared. So it, it has always, always a mutable, um, a lot of goals that we can try and try and make the best out of. Having wor worked with this group a little bit, how confident are you and how confident should people be back home that uh, you've got a group ready to break the door down to get into the England team and do well? Well, I don't know about that so much. What you have got, you've got some hungry players and you've got some very honest players here, uh, which is always a good start. Um, and you, I mean, what you were just saying is the opposite. What I'm just trying to tell them, you're just trying to tell them is you look after today. You concentrate on this game, the, this, this session that you're in now. You try and win the battle that you're in at the time and the rest will, will take care of itself. But what there, what there is is some great talent here and there's some good prospects. and. What, is, what it needs for the, these players to do is, I say, just to, to, to build on what they do on this tour, to take it into the county season and step by step, if they keep doing that and they stay humble, they'll get what they need.